We're here at Max Pro Technologies to show you how to cone and thread medium and high pressure tubing. Uh, the first thing we'll do is install the coning blades in the coning tool. Uh, the blades have part numbers etched on, on one side of them. When you install them in the coning tool, the printed numbers face outward and that gets the blade in the right position in the tool. Put them in and tighten up the set screws on both sides. That's all there is to installing the blades in the coning tool. You also have a threading die holder. You install the proper die into with set screws on both sides and there's guide bushings for each of the different sizes of tubing. This is we're working with quarter inch today so there's a quarter inch guide bushing in the threading die. The other things you'll need is a bottle of cutting oil and uh, the tool holder, the tube holder, and, and the collet wrench. Uh, we also have a coning and threading kit that has everything you need in it to cone and thread medium and high pressure tubing. It's got all of the different tooling and guide bushings, blades in the top, inside you have threading tool, wrenches, deburring tool, and in the bottom there's the cutting oil and the coning tool. When you cone the tube, the first thing you want to do is install the tube into the tube holder. Bring the tube up near the top of the viewing window here, and then put it in your vise and tighten the collet nut. Then you would take the cutting oil, put it on your coning blades, install it in the holder, and turn the knurled nut. Then you'll start to turn the handle rapidly on this side and gradually turn the knurled nut. It will drive the blades down into the tube to cut the cone on the end of the tube. Loosen the nut up. Then you can slide the tube forward and tighten it up. This will allow you to hold the tube while you're doing the threading operation. Install the tie holder down on the tube, firmly push down to get the first thread started, some cutting oil, and for the quarter inch size you will turn this approximately 12 turns to put the proper amount of thread on for the quarter inch high pressure. Every couple of turns, it's always good to back the die off a little bit to break the chips in there. Now you have a, a cone on the end of the tube and a left hand thread to take the collar and glass. Install the gland onto the tube. Put the collar on. One to two threads showing out the end, past the end of the collar. 
and you're ready to install it into your fitting. Okay, when you put together a high pressure or medium pressure fitting, uh, put the gland on the tube and then the collar, like I said, with the uh, one to two threads exposed from the end of the collar. Uh, you're going to want to lubricate the, the threads on this gland with uh, what I'm using here is some uh, jet lube lubrication. And this allows you to put the stainless parts together without any risk of uh, galling up in the threads or anything. So you lubricate the threads, install it hand tight into the fitting, and then what I'll do is I'll put it in the vise and torque the fitting. I've got a torque wrench here. This torque wrench right now is set to 25 foot-pounds. That's the proper torque for a quarter inch high pressure. Every different size has, uh, has a, their own torque value. And you tighten it until you have 25 foot-pounds on the fitting. And that's how you cone and thread medium and high pressure tubing and install the tube into a fitting. If you need any more information, you can visit our website that's shown below.